Hi there, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is fine. Well, my name is already written on the screen. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how I install or replace a new bar tape on road bikes. So as you can see, I'm removing the old one. By the way, this bike is from a customer who requested the full service and replace a new bar tape. But before we start, I just want to say thank you for all my new subscribers. We now have 109 subscribers. Thank you for all your support. And if you're new here, please subscribe now. And maybe you will learn a lot on my channel. And we're about to start. Now here, I'm removing some dirt on the handlebar using a rag. If you notice here, I positioned the cables on the down part of the handlebar and added an electric tape just to make sure they will not move later on when I install the bar tape. Two rounds should be fine. Now we're going to use a Bond Trigger Super Track handlebar tape. The box includes end caps extra tape and of course the tape and two pieces of strong adhesive stickers I decided to start on the right side of the handlebar I'm removing this strip of paper because this tape has an adhesive on the other side here's how I start the procedure Place the edge of the tape on a slanted position. Then make a first loop like this. And then the second round like this. And then continue the procedure. As you can see, I am slightly pulling the tape just to make sure that it's tight enough and it won't move. And as I do the turns, I make sure that the spaces are even. That way, it will look nice and neat. At this point, you can already see the outcome. I left a space here, I'll cover that after I do a figure 8. Now if you'll notice here, I didn't use any extra tape to cover the clamp of the lever. Now that's what I call figure 8. Now the gap has been covered. See? Now here's the result of the figure 8. See how it looks nice and neat. Then continue the procedure. Now remember, the spaces must be even. Now at this point, I'm making a mark on where I'm going to cut the excess tape. We have to cut it like this. And then it will come out straight like this. And then we secure it using an electric tape. Now apply the tape with the same turn of the bar tape. A 3 to 5 turn should do it. And then we install the end cap. Push all the excess bar tape inside the handlebar tube. At this point, I'm only using my palm to secure the end cap. You can now pull back the hoods. 
doing some double checks and securing the end cap. And now we do the left side. Of course, same procedure with the right side of the handlebar. And remember, apply the same spaces that we did on the right side. And of course, we have to apply the figure 8 to cover the clamp of the lever. And just a reminder though, not all bar tapes are tough like this when you're pulling them. So when you are installing a bar tape, don't try to pull too much. Just make sure that you're pulling the bar tape gently. And also, not all bar tapes have self-adhesive like this one. It doesn't matter what brand. The key is proper installation. Now at this point, we're marking the cut. We are about to finish on the left side. Just make sure that you remember the mark before you cut it. And use a sharp scissors. Then cut it like this, then position the tape, and it should come out like this. Then of course, we use the electric tape to secure it. And as I said before, straight pipe turn should do it. Then make a few checks. Before installing the end cap, make sure to push all the excess bar tape inside the tube of the handlebar. Here we'll see a bulky part. We can remove that by pushing it with the end cap, like this. And the outcome would be like this. What can you say about that? Install the stickers like band-aids. Strip out the wax paper partially so you can hold it both ends. And then stick out the bottom end, then the top end. And then finish it off like this. And then of course the other one. And that's how I install bar tape. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I would appreciate if you share my video so you can help to make my channel grow. Well, that's it for me. For your comments, suggestions, and even questions, you can write them down on the section below. Well, Marvin Bike Mechanic saying bye for now. See you on next video. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.